Welcome to SAP Customer Self-Service Videos. In this series, we'll be talking about the procurement operation desks for purchase requisitions. So this will be a five video series. Uh, we'll go through about uh, discussing how to set up uh, your workspace and the rules and procurement desk. Uh, we'll discuss how to create and manage a new queue. We'll then talk about setting up a service level agreement. Uh, we'll then show you how to configure new uh, sub-statuses and denial reasons for the requisitions coming in uh, and lastly we'll talk about how to set up the approval rule to dictate which uh, purchase requisitions will flow through to procurement operation desk. So this will be the last video of the series. Uh, in the first four we pretty much uh, created the workspace, we created the rules, we created a new queue and assigned team members, uh, we set up the SLA um, and in this video, we'll show you how to actually set up the approval rules to enable uh, Procurement Operation Desk. So to actually allow purchase requisitions to flow through to Procurement Desk, you'll need to set up uh, a new approval node in your requisition approval rule. This will be the last video of the series. Uh, by now, we should have successfully uh, set up and configured our Procurement Operation Desk solution. The last thing we want to do is we want to configure our approval rules for requisitions. So we want to add a new, node, a new node to pretty much dictate when requisitions will be assigned to the Procurement Operation Desk uh, queues and system. So to do so, we're just going to go to the Manage section at the top here, and we're going to go to the Approval process. Uh, from the top there, at the Approval type, we're just going to look for the requisition document, and then click on Search. Uh, there should be only one active um, requisition approval process, so just try to find that. Um, so we've just found our one right here. So we're just going to go ahead and click on that, and we're going to go and edit it. So uh, what we want to do is we want to create a new node. Uh, preferably, uh, we want it to be at the front or the start of the uh, approval process. So we're just going to go ahead under ad hoc here. We're just going to add a parallel rule. But just feel free to add yours uh, anywhere in the approval flow, just depending on your requirements. If we scroll down, uh, we'll then just configure pretty much, first of all, the rule title. So just, again, I always like to say give it a, uh, a name which is uh, indicative of what it does. Um, so I'm just going to call this POD rule. So we've got the condition uh, option here. So what we want to do is we, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a predefined condition. So what this means is we it just allows us to dictate when this uh, approval node will be triggered. Um, for procurement operation desk, um, we in this scenario we're just going to say if the requisition has an ad hoc item, so an item that doesn't exist in our catalogs, uh, we want this requisition to flow through to a procurement operation desk. So that's the condition we're going to defy. Uh, then on the action section here, we're just going to leave it as is here, where it's we're going to add a group. And the group we're going to add is Buyer Procurement Agent Desk. That's it. Um, so essentially what we've done here is we're, we've created a new approval node. Um, we've given it a, a title and a description. And then we've set up a condition to say uh, only requisitions with ad hoc items will flow through to Procurement Operation Desk. Um, and that's pretty much what we've done in the, in the action section here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to check in and activate. And now, any new requisition um, with ad hoc items um, will automatically flow through to your Procurement Operation Desk solution. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to your account manager or the SAP customer support team. Thanks, guys.